St. Bonaventure confirms its first case of the H1N1 virus on campus. Maggie Bontemps reports. <coughs> Last week, school officials alerted students that a confirmed case of the H1N1 virus was present on campus. The confirmed case that we know about, uh, uh, we were notified in the late on a Friday afternoon, so we quickly needed to mobilize uh, how to get the information out to the campus community. Whether school officials will continue to update students with each confirmed case of the H1N1 virus is yet to be determined. Really, the science is that whether you have one case, 100 cases, or no cases, what you have to do, what we all have to do to take care of ourselves is really not any different. Dehydration is one of the top threats to the immune system, so keeping yourself hydrated will help protect you this flu season. Other preventative measures include washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, and not touching door handles. The flu has definitely started much earlier this year than usual. The peak flu season usually isn't until February, March. The regular flu virus lasts about a week in most cases if people stay well rested and take the prescribed antibiotics. For SBU TV, I'm Maggie Bontemps. A free H1N1 flu vaccine clinic for St. Bonaventure University students and staff will be held Wednesday, November 11th. Frustrated community members in Olean wanted a change, and their actions Tuesday in the voting booth showed just that. SBU TV's Katie Beecham reports. Supporters gathered at incumbent Mayor David Carucci's election headquarters on West State Street. Over on North Union Street, County Legislator Linda Witt was joined by her supporters. As the votes were tallied, both sides waited in anticipation late into Tuesday night. Before the numbers became official, one side celebrated while the other was trying to be gracious in defeat. In a surprising mayoral election, Witt won in an upset, and she looks forward to taking office. Listening and trying to let them know that, you know, there's different ways of doing things, and I think we can do better. Witt will start her term here as the City of Olean Mayor and begin fulfilling promises made to community members. Um, getting an overall view of where things are right in the city at, at the current time um, and just see where we go from here. And even Karuchi supporters hope for the best. I think I, I'd like to think, uh, yeah, you know, that things will continue to move forward. She's the first uh, female mayor in, in Best of Luck Tour. For SBU TV, I'm Katie Beecham. About 3,400 city residents cast votes in the mayor's race, nearly 1,000 less than 2005. The love of the game is enough to keep the St. Bonaventure hockey team playing, even with late night practices and thousands of dollars needed to play. Christy Angieski went rankside. When most St. Bonaventure students are winding down for the night, there is one group on campus that is just getting started the men's club hockey team. Late night practices keep these men at the rink until 11.30 on most nights to avoid conflict with classes. When I was a freshman we had practice at 4 and with class getting out at 3.45 no one could get here on time so it's, this is an easier time for everyone. The team dedicates more than just their nights to hockey. They also commit financially. Team members pay $1,000 to play each year plus the cost of equipment. Players say the price to play at Bonaventure is standard for the sport, though. I'm just so used to it, playing through high school and stuff, so I already have the equipment. And hockey always costs a bunch, it always costs money when you're growing up, so it's nothing new. Even with dedicating their time and money, the team is still missing one important thing, the fans. The William O. Smith Recreation Center, where the Bonnies play, is located in Olean, which makes it difficult for student fans to attend the games. Unfortunately, it is off campus, and all of our games are mostly on the weekends, so we don't get it. We don't draw as big of a crowd as if we were if we were on campus. So it definitely hurts us. The team says they've advertised with flyers in the past, which has attracted a greater crowd. Still, students feel the university can do more to remote bodies. I just feel like there's more they can do with the hockey team. Like maybe if they had like a pregame like social or something like in the Rathskeller and then had like a bus to the game. I think a lot of people would do that. For SBU TV, I'm Christy Angieski. The 0-4 Bionies continue their season tonight at home against Cornell. They say nothing lasts forever, but tattoos are the exception. And there's a new studio in Allegheny changing the way people are looking at tattoos. 
So with this shop, it also has an edge of fine arts. The main fact of the matter is it's a culture. It's, it's a society thing. Studies show 45 million Americans have at least one tattoo. These artists came together with a unique inspiration, and in June, that inspiration came alive with Inferno Studios. Dante Alighieri has a big influence here. He's a Renaissance writer, a poet. And I wanted it to be more classically, classical art. One concern people may have while getting tattoos is that others may have the same design as them. But here at Inferno Studios, they have a way to ensure that that won't happen. Basically what we've done is we've created a, a flash screen, you know, like a flash touch screen. Um, that can be networked up to multiple studios around the United States. So you pay a little bit extra to the artist to sign the rights over, and then we sign it at each studio, whether it be Michigan, California, wherever it would be. The rights get signed over, and then you know it's yours. And you could actually go take legal action after the person if they tried to duplicate that design. The goal: personal and unique tattoos for each customer. Um, I decided to get the flowers because it represents. Me and my sisters, my mother, my aunt, and my grandmother. Not only will you get a great tattoo, but you're guaranteed a good laugh. How do you? Boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 ba -dum. Huh? Inferno Studios also offers piercing services and is the only tattoo establishment that is OSHA, OSHA certified within 300 miles. That's a mean tattoo. Did it hurt? Not at all, Charlie. <laughs> That's all for this week's edition of SVU-TV. I'm Amanda Shavari. And I'm Charlie Speck. For all of us here in the Coop Lab, thanks for watching.